Hello, for those that don't know me, hi, my name is C or Kieran. My pronouns are he, they, or uh, any neo pronouns that are not culturally specific. I am a queer, trans, disabled, and neurodivergent creator. I am also intersex, and I am a cafe connoisseur and witch. So um, if you are interested or uh, can relate to any of those topics, I would love if you stick around and subscribe. Oh, that feels so weird and cringy for me to say, but I don't want to perpetuate cringeness, but it does feel weird. Um, but yes, um, uh, before we get into where I'm going to be giving content warnings, I would like to say that I, this is going to be just like a little talky vlog. Also, I'm filming in the middle of a park, uh, parking lot, so I will feel weird once someone finally parks and stares at me because I'm waiting for mired open. Yes, I would like to say that I have been putting so many others before myself. I donate to others when I can. I've done mutual aid raising for others uh, over me. And while I love and want to do that and want to help others as much as I can, I've been putting everyone before me and um, like with that also before Turtle in regards to finances. Um, and while I wouldn't change what I've done with helping my friends and uh, mutuals, I do know that um, I need to stop doing so. There's actually a TikTok and I will go ahead and insert that if I can as if it doesn't have like copyright music. Um, so if uh, there is that, here it is. I've got a bone to pick with all you anti-capitalist girlies who are like, you'll get on the internet and you'll like, like things and repost them about, oh, we need community and we should be taking care of each other and blah, blah, blah. But then when you need something, mum's the word. It shut the fuck up when you need something, but you want to help everybody else. That's not how community works. You have internalized capitalist propaganda being like, oh yeah, sure. We need community, but you have to do everything on your own. We need community, but not you. You have to suffer. Fuck that. Cause that is not what community is. So if you want to be there for everybody, ah, 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 whatever. You need to open up your own mouth. Let other people be there for you. Um, Cause you're just, you're doing not just yourself a disservice, you're actually doing a disservice to everyone around you. Cause then people who feel like you are always helping them, but they never get to help you, are gonna feel like they can't ask you for help cause then they're always asking you for help. You know what I'm saying? So let's be a, a true community. Let's help each other. Let's tell each other what we need and take care of all of us because that's what it's about it's like oh yeah i got called out um so for basically the next few months i will be raising funds and working on content creation a lot and just overall trying my best to promote my Kofi, I do tarot readings if you would like one. Um, I have, I'm going to be putting more into my Kofi membership. I have three members. Um, we mostly chat in the Kofi channel on my Discord. It's more active there than I have been on Kofi, but I do have my um, alter, um, like rework as a video that I just need to edit for it to go up. There's that. Um, and like I said, I'll be streaming more and raising funds because I have a $3.5,000 bill from my university. I literally cannot go back to university until it is paid. And I just have two and a half semesters, like if I count like being it's over summer or something. I have two and a half semesters left for to finish my degree. Um, but I 
feasibly cannot until that is paid. So there is that, um, and then so we have that looming over our head because it will also be gaining interest. Um, and then if I don't go back to uni within like a year, I will have to start paying for student loans. Um, so that's a financial burden, but um, right now with it being the start of the year and not reaching the deductible for insurance, um, I have to pay for copays and for um, prescriptions. It is $10 each for each of my prescriptions and I have one, two, three, four, so that's $40 a month. And then I, for therapy, it is $50 every appointment for copays. And I have already gotten to 150 so far this year um, that I haven't paid yet. For pelvic floor physical therapy, it is $30 every time I have an appointment. I don't know what it's going to be like with um, when I start like all of my upper back um, and other physical therapy or if it's a $30 or if it's a $50 copay. And I have other appointments that I can't think of off the top of my head um, that I will have to do copays for. And that costs a lot. Plus, I drive over an hour to Springfield um, once a week for pelvic floor physical therapy. And I will need to also have funds for gas. Turtle has paid for everything for me, and we are now at the brink of where she can't fully uh, do it without help from my end. Um, and at the moment, my disabilities have been getting worse, so I can't do a job, especially right now with uh, COVID and um, just the job market, but I guess like the hiring market. Um, most places say they're hiring, but they're not, and I've already put apps in at places. Uh, I did that in the fall and they didn't uh, call or take me. Also, we are now paying for my phone and my family is no longer paying, which in good news, that means that I can um, cut off family members starting in May because that's when my little sister graduates because now I'm not uh, dependent on them. In bad news, that means we have to pay for it. And um, so we had a $70 upfront cost. And I think it's like $40 a month because I had to get a new phone, which I hate that I had to get a new, we looked into refurbished phones, um, but they were more expensive than um, the deal they had to get a new phone. Um, and uh, so for that reason, uh, we got a new phone because we also can pay it off slowly instead of all up front, which we don't have the money to do all up front. So yeah, um, I'm in need of funding. So if you do have the means, uh, my Kofi and my GoFundMe as well as my um, cash links are down below if you can help. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, and it's been nine minutes of me talking about that. Okay. I'm getting into the serious topics. Um, there is content warnings coming up for depression, s suicidal ideation, internalized ableism, a little bit of, like, e uh, eating disorder will be mentioned, but it's not going to be focused on. It is diagnosed through an EMG. I think it, I think it's an EMG. I think EKG is the heart. So yeah, EMG, which is where they do like pulses in you um, with needles. But so uh, I basically get like intense pins and needles and pain that runs down from my neck and shoulder. It starts at like my shoulder blade and then runs down the brink of my arms to um, specifically these two fingers the most on both sides. My left side is the worst, but it happens in both sides. And lately 
it has gotten to the point where my hands hurt all the time um and they hurt more like i haven't been able to hold my phone for more than five to ten minutes without my hands hurting um and having to take a break um which when you have content creation as your job and all of your friends are online that is very hard to do so that hasn't been great and then it also has affected me doing other tasks because my hands can't do so because after a while they can't they don't have the strength to like grab things or like open bottles or anything so that has been getting worse and the pain in my upper back has been intensifying as well as the pain in my lower back. I used to get basically an epidural shot um, in my lower back because I have bulging discs. I would get that twice a year and now I don't um, because I switched places and uh, they just, it hasn't happened yet. I need to have a new MRI, but with insurance issues, you have to take a certain amount of weeks of physical therapy to then have an MRI. So there's that. And with that, I have had many flares um, and just pain all over, but mostly in those areas that I've stated. And I have noticed that my disabilities are getting worse and that has been affecting me. But now to like, the depression and suicidal ideation. This is not necessarily active suicidal ideation. This is what most people would consider passive suicidal ideation, where you are not actively trying to harm yourself um, or actively like trying to uh, unalive yourself, um, but you're doing it like passively and uh thinking about it constantly and i've definitely been doing that um who this is hard to talk about i just i feel like a burden so much it is my biggest thing i have to be taken care of by my nesting partner because again my disabilities are getting worse and then when I am not having a flare and um, can physically do things, there has been this mental block because of a lot of anxiety of, well, I'm a burden. And um, like my big thing is withering away or like disappearing or I, physically cannot picture or imagine me having a future. I tried unaliving myself multiple times in high school. Um, I didn't think I was going to make it to 18. And then I didn't think that I was going to make it to 21. Um, and the last time that I actively tried was in 20. I would like to say 2020, but it might have been 2021. Um, I have gone to the psych ward once and I also had to immediately leave the psych ward because they were horrible. Um, so yes, grippy sock vacation did not work for me. I do have a therapist and I do have a psychiatrist and I am on mood stabilizers to try and help and mitigate as well I'm, as I'm on Cymbalta um, for depression. I'm at the max dose um, and with that I still have a lot of depression. Um, I have also chronic fatigue and I don't know it's also depression is contributing to that, um, to me sleeping so much because I, instead of feeling my feelings and feeling the pain, I will sleep 
and I sleep for 16 hours a day up to up, up to like 19 to 20 and it is a real problem in my um in-person relationships and also um my online relationships because I can't be very active and hanging out with my friends and my um my uh a long distance partner so that has been affecting that a lot but with the suicidal ideation I just haven't been living um my I relied a lot on my partner to wake me up to make sure that I took meds and that I would eat um, at least once a day, um, which again really has been affecting our relationship. I'm not going to go too much into talking about our relationship because it's our relationship and it's personal. Um, and it also uh, affects Turtle, who is not here to talk about it herself. There is that. I um, haven't been truly living for myself because again I keep thinking that I'm go not going to make it and then I'm going to die and again I can't picture a future for me and it's also been harder lately with the way the world is like I just feel like an absolute burden and that like I am worthless and not worthy and so I have not committed to things that I will say that I'm doing and I um I just haven't um had well the will to live and to do things like I say my motivation is a problem but and like it is but like the will to live just isn't there and um I brought it up to my therapist last week um about like I was like hey this has been how bad it is and so she understood um and we are starting to work on it, but um, it has gotten to the point where um, Turtle is so burnt out from her job and finances and just uh, being, uh, being a music major is tough and she finished that um, and is in her first year of teaching and many music teachers are burnt out because they are overworked and underpaid and uh, they were overworked and not paid at all in university. Don't also start me on how student teaching, you are literally doing a job and you're not getting paid. But, so she is burnt out and physically like can't do everything for me anymore. And so it has been really affecting that relationship as well as also affecting my health. Um, this is where like the mention of eating disorder comes in. So I am and have always been struggling with eating disorders. Um, they're not like active at the moment, but the thoughts will come up every now and then. But like I said, I haven't been eating, but it hasn't been for, like, eating disorder reasons. It has genuinely been because I don't have an appetite or I don't feel hungry um, or I don't notice that I'm hungry or I don't remember to eat, um, which I mean, I guess could be eating disorder related, but I think it's from me, again, just not having the will. Um to live as well as just again the neurodivergence of not knowing my the signals in my body um 
and I know that is affecting my health um, and not giving me, you know, the sustenance to have energy. I've been getting headaches a lot more and it's because I haven't been drinking as much water and uh, just chai and tea as I used to. Um, and when I say chai and tea, I mean as in like chai lattes and then uh, hot tea. Um, cause I know chai means tea, um, and is tea, but, um, I have noticed that I've been getting headaches more, um, it is also the time of year where I get headaches because Illinois does not know what the fuck the weather is doing, and so I do get headaches more with the pressure changing and the temperature changing, but that has been happening, like, TMI, but my IBS and bowels have been angry at me, which is also like contributing to it. But oh god, someone just pulled up next to me. Oh boy. Um, and so there is that. Uh, and like I said, I have not been responsible or accountable with many things that I've said that I'm going to be doing and I haven't been putting the work in because I was like I don't know what the point is because I'm not going to live to be here and um well it's gotten to the point between like all of my relationships both platonic and romantic um that I need to actually start living and having a just a will to do things. Um, finances has been a struggle also for why I haven't had the will because I'm like, well, uh, with me, you know, not living, um, why uh, should I put all this effort into trying to pay off my debt if I am not going to be here? Um, because I have, I kid you not, my medical debt and medical bills have been piling up since I've turned, um, 18. Um, I think I got the bill that was, the ones from when I was 18 and a few from when I was 19 paid off. But since 2020, I have not been able to pay off a bill, um, that is over $50. And it has, like I said, really been adding up. And I um, am really struggling. I am on SNAP, but it took me forever to apply for SNAP. Um, I'm going to attempt to apply for disability or look into seeing if I can apply for disability, but it's not guaranteed if I can another person just pulled up next to me oh my goodness um so now i really have to sit and focus on finances i'm tried getting a nannying job but it didn't work out um i wasn't their final pick uh and i will need to see if i can do that um in the future I need to actually put time into my relationships because I have not been hanging out with friends and my loved ones at all. I haven't been, uh, all I do on Twitter is repost things and same on threads, Instagram, blue sky. I haven't made actual content in a while I haven't kept up my promise of making content. I was going to post something, but I I just deleted all of the videos because I just didn't feel confident or liked what I did for the video. So I uh, deleted all of it. Um, when I could have edited it and posted um, on time, but I didn't. So I haven't been committing to y'all. I haven't been committing to 
my community on Twitch. I keep like taking over a week off, but without saying. Um, I haven't committed to my friends. I haven't committed to my the stream team that I am on. I haven't committed to the stream team that I am a lead on and put work into that. I haven't fully committed to um, COVID safe CU, which I run the Discord and I'm one of the admins in. I haven't committed to myself. Um, so all in all, I need to do so. And um, the things that I need to start doing is I need to start having routines. I will be getting up when Turtle gets up for work, which is 6.30 in the morning, um, or getting up earlier because when I was at my best was when I was waking up early um, and having slow mornings and taking the time to do things. So I'm also going to be going to bed early and not staying up until 3 a.m. and trying to get actually sleep um, trying to take less snaps, like obviously with the caveat that I am disabled and there are going to be days where I will be crashing. Um, I need to remember to eat. Yeah, I, I have been good at taking my meds, but I need to take them at like a consistent time. I called my doctor about switching back to gabapentin and they are going to have me try upping the dose on my current medication and seeing if that helps before they switch me back. Um, so we'll see on that front. Um, I need to actually stick to streaming. Turtle and I agreed on that I need to stream at least 12 hours a week, whether that be um, me streaming four days for at least three hours or three days for at least four hours. Oh, somebody is parked right in front of me. This is very awkward and I'm not going to make eye contact, um, which I haven't been making eye contact for a while because I've been trying not to cry. So yeah, that is that. I am also going to be committing to doing YouTube and starting to make TikToks and posting on Instagram and um, actually committing to the time and energy that I need to put in for all of the other things that I have said that I am committed to. So yes, um, that is basically an update on where my mental health has been. Um, I posted in my Discord, which if you would like to join, the link is down below, of how I've been, and, um, there, um, there has been, uh, a lot of love from my community, and I'm very thankful for them, um, but, yeah, so, uh, if you have made it this far, Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, I was like, you don't have to comment, um, but if you would like to tell me how you are doing, I would love to know. Oh, there's a baby. Um, sorry, I am autistic and ADHD and I get distracted, um, but the baby was cute. Um, <laughs> So, um, yes, I am very appreciative of you. Thank you for being here. I am going to be uploading on Thursday. This is going to be going out the day that I'm um, filming this, which is a Tuesday. Um, but my normal posting times are going to be on Thursdays. Um, I don't know if it's going to be noon or 2 p.m. It is going to be roughly between that time, Central Standard Time. And yeah, um, thank you for being here. I hope that you are doing well. And if you're not, that is okay because I'm not doing well and we can get through this together. Um, I appreciate you. 
I'm going to now go because I've been talking for over 30 minutes. I will be cutting this video down so it's hopefully not 30 minutes <clears throat> and I need to go grocery shopping. So yeah, have a lovely time zone and I will see you Thursday. Bye.